Hi everyone, I'm Nikita Sharma from International Book of Records and I welcome you all on this live chat. Um, we're getting live on this, uh, you know, on Instagram with one of our very reputed record holder and that is Mr. David Cox from Devon, Plymouth, United Kingdom. I'm very excited to start this live chat session because this is going to be very interesting. I mean, uh, Mr. David Cox, he is an amateur escapology artist and he's also the member of UKEA, United Kingdom Escapology Organization, GEO, uh, Global Escapology Organization and also an honorary member of Can Escapes and that is Canadian Escapologist. I think my introduction of him is not going to do any justice. I mean, he's the best person to introduce himself and about his achievements. So let's get connected with him. I'm going to invite him. Um, it's going to take just a while. So just stay connected. Um, Let's wait for him. Um, trust me, he's an amazing escapologic artist. Um, hi, Mr. David. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you so much for being a part of our International Book of Records family. We are obliged to have you on this live chat session with us. Thank you so very much. Um, I think you heard me introducing about you on this live chat session that you are an amateur escapology artist and also an avid lock sporter. So I want you to introduce yourself to our uh, audience here. Okay, hey, that's fine. Uh, so my name's David Cox. Uh, I go by the online name of Coxie's Picks. Uh, I've been doing lock sport now, which is picking locks for fun for the last four years. Um, I've mm -hmm. I really enjoy it and part of that I got challenged to do handcuffs and then as soon as I got into the handcuffs I started doing escapes because escapology in essence is locks, cuffs and the inability to do it and it became a challenge. I'm a massive fan of puzzles and so lock picking and challenging myself is something that um, it, well, it just presented itself and I fell into play. Uh, I've first started getting into the escapology world uh, when I started going for my records uh, and um, as you know uh, I managed to unlock 11 handcuffs in one minute and um, there's a difference between an escape which is it's all semantics uh, but in essence unlocking is when you simulate the key and when you escape it's any means necessary so it's two different wordings on it yeah. and so for, for this particular record I unlocked the handcuffs um, I got got invited yeah, for, so, to join you know, the UK. We... Sorry? Yes, definitely. Yeah, we invited you for this thing and uh, we just want to know that how did you actually start this? Like, you know, how did you have this uh, thought in your mind to be a part of this escapology activity and escapology team? What was your idea behind this? Well, it was, it was one of those unusual things. I mean, no good story starts with a salad. Um, obviously, I was having a few beers. Um, Aaron Firth and various other members in the UKEA, I've been able to get better at escape artistry. However, I'm not very good at the old stage performance. I'm not an, uh, an actor as such. So I've got no stage presence. I'll just walk up and say, here's a set of cuffs, and, and then I'm out of them. So I need to work on that a little bit before, you know, I'll be reaching the dizzy heights of like Houdini and et cetera like that. But yeah, so uh, that's it in a minute. I, I, I tend to rock up, show up with a set of new handcuffs and then show another exploit on how to get out of them. Okay. Does that this make all sense? sounds so interesting. I mean, I didn't hear about these kind of activities before, like knowing your record. And to me, this is quite interesting kind of a thing. And do you do any, like, you know, have you done anything specific in this activities? Like, you know, any other shows or any other kind of an achievements that you have in this? Apart uh, from well, the International so, Book of Records, definitely. Um, 
so yeah, I've, I've got the international book of records. I've got two Guinness world records and I've got, I think it's five online world records um, for various handcuff tricks and getting out of them as it were. Um, a lot of people have um, issued me little challenges online that I do, um, but I don't do stage. I just do my YouTube channel, um, which is enough for me because it's just me talking to a camera and I'm kind of used to that by now. Whereas I wouldn't know how to gauge an audience reaction and see if they're excited or not. Whereas with oh, YouTube, um, I put it out there, they'll either give me a like or a dislike. And so it goes from there. So what is your encouragement in this thing? I mean, uh, do you do any other thing other than this or uh, only like escaping through the handcuffs? It's just that. You have yeah. any other interests well, so other than this? Um, I have lots of other interests, um, too many hobbies really, not enough time. Yeah. Um, but yeah. this is the most uh, exotic one of the, all my hobbies. Um, and it's definitely the one that's a conversation starter. So um, I, 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 I like what, um, what's the word? it's, it's like know. collecting. In this escapology, like, let's, let's talk about it. In this escapology team, do you have any other kind of an activities in the escapee uh, things like or it's just the handcuffs thing i i really want to know about this okay all right so uh, that'll bring me on to my big metal friend here um as you can see all right yeah right, all right. the well, idea behind this, this guy this? He is a replica of david the vowels iron mask um it's an item that fits across your head and then you get padlock on either side and you've got to try and escape out of it. So it's not just handcuffs, it's also padlocks, chains, um, plastic restraints are coming in really, really big nowadays. Um, so it's showcasing all the different methods of getting out of uh, items. And the modern audience can't be fooled anymore. What with the power of the internet, they can look up how you got out of it and so that they can work through. And with 4K, there's no hiding. You, you, you literally, what you see is what you get. So it's, it's no, will over your eyes anymore the 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 days of illusions uh where people would just walk behind a curtain and right. then walk back out and go to bar right that's not what the audience wants anymore they want to be able to see how you're doing it and exactly. so because of that um, we're changing all our techniques and i like to think that i've always shown how i, I do stuff and so people have, have engaged with me on my youtube channel particularly um and when i'm actually giving okay. talks and stuff they engage with me as well wow uh, this sounds like an uh, definitely an escapee, but then also a kind of a magical thing, like you know, out of nowhere having all these kind of things, and you have to escape out of all this thing. Um, this is quite. Uh, I think there has there's a lot of study or practice, and in, in this, are you guys doing it? Uh, well, I I do practice a lot. Um, <laughs> when I was going for the record, I was doing a daily practice run, um, just mainly to try and get. And muscle memory down. Um, did you want to see a set of cuffs? Absolutely, uh, I mean, we do want to see that. We just want right. to see this live call. because I have definitely, I have definitely seen your video doing this activity and achieving this world record. But definitely, I want to see this live here on our chat, and I would want our viewers to see this. Okay. So yeah. any good handcuff collector will tell you that you need to have a pink pair of handcuffs. All right. So okay. this is a set yeah. of pink PLS 750C, right? They're used in uh, America, right? The color coding is really for the prison service uh, to identify different prisoners, right? But the cuffs go on like so, right? And then and what I do is I use a tool that I've made myself. So I don't know if you can see it. There they are. It's basically a very thin piece of metal, yeah. right? I'll reach in and I'll get the locking mechanism and I'll extract exactly. myself. Now, the thing is, is when you're doing it with just one cuff, right, it's quite slow because you've got to change hands. It gets more interesting when you start adding cuffs to the mix. So we put one pair on and then we get a second pair. Like so. And then, See why not? We're like, we'll go with a third pair. gonna do all these handcuffs unlock at a right. moment right. so there we are we've got three on and as you can see 
when I did my record, I had them all up my arm. It was really difficult to maneuver. But what you do now is you work on one side, and then you can change hands and go down the other side. And it's actually a little bit quicker. It's not super fast because I'm a little bit out of practice. But you'll understand that as you're going through, you get into the swing of things, and you can just get the cuffs off as quick as that. So there we go. Oh my right, and I'll be doing this for. Um, practice, I've practiced daily before the event. So, this yeah. This is quite interesting. I think I would not be able to open it by myself, just even the one, and you did it by three, doing it to three, and well, that by yourself. Um, I, I, I like teaching people how to get out a set of handcuffs. Um, I mean, it's, it's one of those fun conversation pieces. Do you also teach, I mean, teach it, all these kind of a thing, escapology? You teach about this? Well, I would like to be a student. Me. Do you have any ch channel for this thing? Do you have any channel or like anything that you teach? Uh, yeah, so, so uh, if you want to find me, I'm on YouTube under Coxy's Picks. That's uh, C O X Y S P I C K S. And uh, I do a lot of lock picking as well as handcuffs. And I talk through different methods on how to do it. There are There, there is some gray areas that you have to use a pinch of salt because obviously I'm teaching you how to get out of handcuffs. But at the same time, it's yeah. we're, we're talking perfect world scenario for stage and presentation that's true that's I mean, presentation is definitely the important aspect in all the fields and uh, it's it's really wonderful talking to you i mean you are actually an interesting person your activities are quite interesting um it's wonderful having you on our live chat uh -huh. session thank you so very it's Hello. It's been a pleasure here. Um, and if you ever get bored, you could always pop over, and I'm sure we could find something that'll entertain you. Oh in the my mix. goodness! There are like so many. These are wow. So yeah. Do you really build all this thing, or do you have a collection, or like how do you collect all so number of? Well. I started collecting handcuffs when I first got into it, and then I bumped into uh, Aaron Firth, and he runs the Doncaster Restraint Museum. Lovely guy, lo lovely museum. They've just changed facilities, and they're in the process of getting into a larger um, establishment. It should be open again around about September time. Um, when you start collecting restraints and that, it's always nice to have contacts of people that can help you out and point you in the right direction. And they also give you a hand when you actually want to know how the restraints are used as well because I've got some interesting ones that unfortunately I don't have a clue how to put them on so I have to be shown how to use them so it's, it's not my day job putting That's people into cuffs so it was quite interesting and, uh, so. this is quite unusual in fact this is like totally different than the regular activities that we people usually do or we people uh, usually see I think you are doing such an amazing and a marvelous uh, this lock pouring thing so i think it's wonderful i would definitely would like to connect you with with you on your youtube channel and definitely connect through that and th thank you so much mr david for connecting with us and uh, thank you so and, uh, much i suppose to your before we go well. i'll show you and there is wow. my record That's pedal and i've said thank you thank you very much Right, it is a very important piece of my journey, it's and so I'm very like thankful to the International Book of Records. And, and we are so pleased and so grateful to you, in fact, for believing us and trusting our team, and you know, all the way from London, connecting to our team and getting this achievement from our side. This we people are really grateful to you for this thing, and we truly appreciate our all the record holders and everybody who's connecting to our family. We call you a family. Every record holder to us is a family to us. And thank you so very much for giving your this precious time to us and connecting with us. Thank you so much. It's a wonderful no chat so with you. Thank you so much, David. Have a good day. Bye. -bye. And thank you so you much too. Thank to you. other viewers. Have a lovely day. And I would like to I would like to thank all the viewers who joined us in our live chat session and uh, we're going to connect on next Sunday with our another amazing record holder. Till then, stay connected with our team and 